Oh, shit. Okay, what's up, everybody? Community Service Podcast coming at you right now. I got tour dates coming up. Where am I at? Des Moines. Des Moines, my voice. Hope I have it for Des Moines. Omaha, Portland, Tacoma, Hasbro Heights, Las Vegas, Tampa. I got Mr. Cat down there meowing at me. Orlando, Brea, California, Greensboro, Charlotte, Detroit, Niles, Fort Worth, Chicago, Columbus, Kansas City, Little Rock. I just got a text. Jacksonville, <laughs> New York City, Greenville, Dallas, Texas, Tampa Beach, Los Angeles, Comedy Store, December 19th. Shooting my special December 21st, Sacramento, California. And I got Lucy Goosey Gummies. They're not on the website yet. They're coming real damn soon. Sorry about that. But you can still enter discount code Lucy15 for microdose of Colors Mushroom Gummy. Link is no longer in the bio because YouTube some <laughs> As mother- and the deleting YouTube account, so we need to clean that up, Chris. Sorry, I just told you about that right now. But we have work to do because I don't want to get my shit deleted. Gotcha. I just went to promoting health and wealth. And uh, no, these are just non, this fun, just uh, vitamin, multivitamin, multivitamin. Don't eat five of them and drive. Multivitamin. <laughs> I love you all. Today's guest is my homie, Brittany Schmidt. She's absolutely hilarious, super talented. Her special's coming out August 8th. Look her up on her website, YouTube. She has an amazing podcast called This Is The Worst. Uh, co-host with Brittany Furlon. Check their shit out. And she also has another podcast called... Scumbags of History. Scumbags of History. I remember a lot. I, I don't yeah, you did. That was come really on. impressive. Come on. Yeah. These, the, the gummies work. See? I talk. That was some shit. I can read. See? Ha. Okay. <laughs> she has a great poop story at the end. This is a fantastic episode. <laughs> we talk about love, life, dildos, and fifis. Get at it. I love you all. <laughs> Check it out. Peace. I got motherfucking notes. No, I just no, I just need timeline shit because I, you know, ADHD. It's not real notes. It's like talk about your new gummy. Right, right. right. (laughs) right. (laughs) I'm gonna take a fistful of them and drive back to Beverly Hills. Party. (laughs) I guess we'll start with that. Are we rolling? We can. We can. We're on Yerba Mate. They haven't sponsored me yet. What's up, fools? I can't. Have you uh, tried to DM them? Yeah, a bunch. Oh, really? I'm big dog now. I got gold. I got gold. Give me free juice. <laughs> what are are this... they not responding to you? Mm-mm. Um, I got, I'm going to work are you with a lady. Out your profile? Yeah. Yeah, reach out. There's a, I'm working with a brand company. I'll connect you because every single product that I've been like, I need this person to sponsor me, yeah. they get it. Like Womanizer, the vibrator I've been using since my divorce, <laughs> which has kept me alive. I literally have like po- posted Womanizer. If you don't sponsor me, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, give me free dildo. <laughs> they did I burned this yeah, one out. And they didn't respond. <laughs> and then I got this brand company. I'm like, it, Womanizer is number one. They're like, we're in the middle of a brand yeah, deal now. I'm easy. And I'm I got, slam dunk. I fucking got like six different vibrators and dildos yeah. and shit. I was like, hell yeah, yeah this yeah, is my yeah, like Monday, Christmas. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday. Oh, that. That one's Friday. Yeah. That one's crazy. <laughs> that one is crazy. I'm mad Friday. <laughs> German engineering, though, you know, the Those Germans. Those fucking Germans. The Germans will what get you, you every time. They make the best pocket pussies, too. I don't know. I've never had I bet they I've do. I've had one. I've yeah, had one. that's not front. Yeah, I, I quickly corrected it. Yeah, I'm yeah. an honest vessel. The things I've said I've done later. Right. I go, what you say, Craig? Oh, they know. It only I lives know. on the internet forever. Right. I know. That's. I, do you ever think about that? I'm like, why are we putting all this stuff out there? <laughs> I, you know, it's going to... Because it's funny. I know, but is it? <laughs> it's not all funny. At our expense. <laughs> it's just like... Our soul's tucker. It's going to fucking live on a server that outlives you know, humanity. Yeah. I have a kid now, and he's like, you said that? Yeah, well, he's not old he's, enough to say he that He did yet, say but. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think like, about that. you how do you that. think you got here? Yeah. <laughs> But it's just crazy. It's funny. It's it's not even like embarrassed for him. It's for me. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some you and keep some things to yourself. You think about like when he starts to go to school and then you've got the parent friends and they're gonna look at everything. Good. Good. <laughs> if they don't like me there they ain't at my barbecue. I live by the beach. This is a good barbecue. You get the fuck out with your judgment. So what? So what? I made homemade pocket pussies when I made <laughs> so what? Whatever, man. I made it's my just, own. I'm so old. I made just, my own pocket pussies. It's just Ziploc bags with peanut butter. In you there. don't know what <laughs> PFs are? 
<laughs> no. I've explained Fifi so many times on this podcast. <laughs> well, then you don't have to do it again. <laughs> a Fifi is a homemade pocket pussy that was popularized in prison, and you you roll like a condom or a glove into it, like a into a little washcloth, like cinnamon roll, and then you put lubricant in the middle. And then you heat it up in the microwave. That's from my app. You have those? You have microwaves in prison? No, I'm joking. Oh. That's the, <laughs> the microwave part was the joke because it's in my app. Oh, okay. And yeah, like it's it's the common knowledge like this. And not to you, but um, yeah, men. For men, it's common knowledge, at least back in the day. Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> I don't I'm know. just a weirdo. <laughs> okay, Maybe it's I just guess. prisoners. <laughs> yeah. Common knowledge. My cousins for, yeah. would get out of prison and be like, this is what you got to do. Yeah. You got to fuck this pocket pussy. I said, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or I could not go to prison. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 You should just blow up and get sponsored by Vibrators. That's a better life. Yeah. My cousin called me from prison two times. I was asleep. He can't call back a collect call. <laughs> Sorry, cousin. I get <laughs> in next time. Right. Calling at noon, bro. I'm a comic. Huh? Anyway. You're asleep at noon? No, he Not called anymore. at like 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I said call at noon. Oh, I know. When people I, This morning, I woke up at 11.15. I went to bed at 10.30, and I woke up at 11.15. That's a good I'm life. Like, okay. Yeah, that's a good life. I might be depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's when you know you're depressed. I'll just go to sleep. Because I didn't feel refreshed. I woke up like, oh, this again. Do you do this? Sometimes I wake up early, feel refreshed, and I'll go back to sleep and then feel depressed and sad later. No. I'm no, if I backwards. wake up and I feel refreshed, I jump out of bed because yeah. I know that is a fleeting feeling. Yeah. And I have to take advantage you of it. You do need to get out yeah. within five minutes yeah. or you're toast. Yeah, because if you go Holy back down, shit, that's you're so going true. to Despresso land. You're just like, nah, what's the point? My cat's pissing. My girl's puking. I said Despresso <laughs> instead of Depresso. I don't, so. I don't care. Where's the asteroid? <laughs> I would love to know. Where's the asteroid? Come on, guys. I, I just want I heard to be in the taken the fuck world. out. You know? Yeah. Something could just take us yeah. out. I'm yeah. just sick of hustling. It's hard. I'm sick of hustling. I'm so, I'm, we're, we're winning. We're winning. And You're winning. We want to. You're winning. Yeah. You got vibrator sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning. I got mushroom sponsors. God is good. Oh, yeah. So how did this happen? I want to hear all about it. So, or did you talk about it a hundred times already? No, this is brand new. This is oh, just... Oh, congratulations. Yeah. This is supposed to be on the website, but there's always some hiccups, you <laughs> cocksuckers. You give me the product, you don't sell it on the internet. And I'm, I'm promoting it. Everyone's like, where is it at? Wait, what do you mean it's not on the website? Oh, it's... Like, yeah, they're... The mushroom game is crazy, and they're getting their uh, like credit card... They're making it more legit through mm -hmm. credit card swipers, and right. that's a legal process that was supposed to be been done. Right. So right to... now they're just taking like checks in the mail. Yeah, right. PayPal. <laughs> yeah, PayPal. PayPal. Oh yeah, cash that's pretty out. much a check in the mail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> PayPal is yeah. pretty much a cashier's check. So they're working on just that Apple Pay and shit. They still have their products, but they can't add anything to it until this legal process is done. And I'm like, great. So then you shouldn't have launched it. You shouldn't be talking about it yet. Oh, it's okay. It's bad for business because they're going to go to that site and buy something else. And you're not going to get credited with it. No, I, still, I got, I got uh, discount codes. Mm. So I get paid off the discount code. But this gotcha. one's Mo Beta. Okay. This one's Mo Beta. It's not on the website yet. Also, I haven't done like a hard launch, a hard post, a hard in, yeah, link yeah. in bio. This is just more like loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. Launch. Soft launch. The come up looks good on you, Craig. Can I say? Thank you. Something looks slightly different about your hair and your skin, like everything. Like you look good. It's my aura. You think so? <laughs> I, I think it might be your hair. And my hair. Are, are you using a new texturizer? No. I don't think it's your aura. I just took a your shower. <laughs> All I did was take a shower. Like, wow, when you don't have inches of grime on you, Craig, you look like, great. You look very good. You're yeah. not fucking filth. Yeah. Uh, no, you just, it is, you know, you've always been fancy. I've always admired your game, but I never really gave a fuck. But then you start making more money. You're like, hey, nicer shit is nicer. Life is better when you have money. I hate people that it's are like. It's better. It's better. When people are like, money doesn't buy you happiness. I'm like, it buys you everything else. It buys you freedom. <laughs> it buys you freedom. It also buys you time to then go to the shrink or therapist or ayahuasca ceremony to yes. then achieve happiness. Yes. Or you meditate and have a green juice yeah. and a gym or membership travel. and take care of yourself. Travel. Like it really yeah, no, is super it's, helpful. It's, so it's, whoever said money can't buy you happiness People's beliefs be are money on money are so strange like they get so triggered 
I was always open ears in that category. But you talk to someone about money and they just, you know, they go, no. Well, people have a lot of trauma around money. You know, like when you're a kid, you're told a lot of stuff about yeah. money. So you have like these belief systems from very young. Or if you were raised in a household where money was an issue and then you just you associate money with like being scared or feeling like, you know, yeah. you're not provided for or whatever it is. So I think we take that into our adult lives and then we just have all these bad stories about money. But I think all of us want money. So it's like if we can just get rid of those bad yeah. stories and just be like Let open it to go. it fucking coming. Let it get. Never ever say this. It's too expensive for me. No. Say, how can I get that? Bitch. 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 I was like thinking of a car. But, yeah. you know. What kind of car? What's like your. Oh, my God. I just saw this. Yeah, I know. I actually forgot already the exact name. Well, that's good. That's a good start. You're going to be able to manifest oh, that. Hey, no hey, sponsored by Lucy Goosey. Yeah. <laughs> no, my my dream vehicle changes a bunch, but I just saw a YouTube reel and it was a Jeep Cherokee. Get on the Googles. And it was called like a Tomahawk, but it has a 500 horsepower engine in mm. it. It has like a Corvette or a fucking Porsche engine in it. Mm -hmm. And it evaded the FBI, and I heard it, mm -hmm. and and they were, and they couldn't do nothing. And I went, I, that, and it switched, and yeah. I was like, I want that. Yeah. Because yeah, before that, it was, that. but it looks beautiful. Insert photo you here. Wanna, black uh, on black, black rims, black tint. Okay. Black. Black okay. leather, black everything. Cars, especially because you're doing such a long commute for work. They do, the cars actually do not buy happiness. Like no. I've, I've gotten every single one of my dream cars, and then I get in it, and I'm like, ah. Your Range Rover <laughs> was dope. Myself, I like my that. Range boy. Rover was fucking sick. Yeah. But it's not a good car for LA because the streets are no. so tight, and like people hit you when you park. So it's like, yeah. it's a it's a liability to have that expensive of a car driving around LA. It's like you need something a little smaller. And you like do. Whip a little you better. fucking do. But you will enjoy your commute more. And I got a luxury vehicle now. Mahogany, leather get? seats, a Lexus LS, a 460, 480. Okay, Greg. Fuck Who mahogany. is this motherfucker? Mah it's a little older, but it's still whip. <laughs> V8, that motherfucker's got power. A little older is nice because then you don't really care if shit happens. No, I know. It's I like, fucking oh, love that car. Yeah. You haven't seen my Lexus? It's no, the last car I saw was your Toyota. <laughs> That's it. That was not. That was not. You're hit and run. <laughs> yeah. oh, one hit and run. What? One hit and run. What? That guy had it coming. What? He got up. He got up. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Edit. I'm kidding. Leave it in. It was his fault. He was drunk. What are you gonna do? Anyways. What are you gonna do when you get hit by a car when you're drunk? <laughs> you take off. That's what I did. <laughs> That's a nice thing. Okay, so this is what I think. I think shitty cars are the most dangerous cars on the road because you can tell by looking at them that they don't have money and they don't give a we fuck. We don't give a fuck. Like that's like when I drive a nice car. Well, when I drive my Tesla and someone with a beater comes yeah. like flying at me, I was like, "It's your road. <laughs> like, you do not have insurance. You don't have a single fuck to give." Go ahead. Yeah, like, go. That's when you let them all in. Yeah. Like, Keep going. Yeah. Oh, 89 Corolla, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Distance, distance. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I like not giving a fuck. I do miss that because I used to sideswipe shit all the time. I'm not proud of it, but, you know. Yeah, that's just who you are. That's just what happens. That's who you are when you have a piece of shit car. And you're, you're like, if I have to have a shitty car, hammered. you all get to have <laughs> shitty cars too. <laughs> What's your dream car now? I really don't have a dream. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you never told me the name of my car. Trackhawk or Trailhawk? Trackhawk. Trackhawk. Okay. There's two. There's a Trailhawk and a Trackhawk. There's a Trailhawk as well. I That's fucking confusing. I think I've gotten all the cars that I've wanted to know that a car isn't it. No. I have more of like dream homes. Yeah. Dream lives. Like I want to have another. I like, got two dream homes. Yeah, but dream. Where are they at? Right here. I okay. ain't moving. Okay. I ain't <laughs> okay. Moving. Great. Yeah, no, it's just... really convenient for everyone else, Craig. <laughs> what? <laughs> Living far as fuck away. Hey, hey, I give you gifts. Don't worry, I'll break you off. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, just up on the hill in a house. And then I, I don't, I know, you know how this shit goes. You go like, ara, ara. up on a hill in a house. That's right, your no, dream. But right here, just like, up, I don't want to give the exact location. But the, South Redondo has a lot of hills and it overlooks like Palos okay, Verdes, okay. Malibu and yeah. downtown LA. Okay. You just, it's fucking insane. Yeah. So you literally can see the city on a clean day. Of course, it's kind of rare. And the fucking ocean, and Malibu, and Catalina. So just right up here, <laughs> and then Palos Verdes, like the the. You want one in PV too? Yeah, but like close PV, not like deep PV. Okay. Like 
two minutes in PV, not a half hour in PV. Right, right, right. On the cliff. And if the wave comes, I'll be like this. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did it. I sold out the main room, bitch. <laughs> oh my God, that was last night. Yeah. You sold it out. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Craig. That was crazy. You got passed, you I sold got, it out. Yeah. Oh. That's I such sold a good it feeling. out on my girl's birthday, and she was puking. It was oh, great. I was gonna come. I did chocolate Sundays, and I was gonna come, but then I just had a it's fucking okay. gnarly set at chocolate Sundays. Oh, I so have. Like, I was black like rooms are tough. Sweating on stage. Usually, black rooms are great because they love, yeah. like, It'll... they love how dark my shit is. Yeah. I don't know what last night was. That was not the case. I really. bombed a few times in those rooms. <laughs> I was sweating like a whore it, it, in church. It's different. It hurts. Sweating like me in church. Yeah, you sweat a little more. Yeah, in a black room. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, please don't shake your I'm keys. I'm like, I can feel me <laughs> disappointing you. Keys. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're but when they go off, they're they're probably the best room. The best. It's insane. The best, yeah. So. Well, yeah. They didn't like me last night, but that's okay. I don't like. Me. I told you I bombed my dick off at earthquake in France. Yes. Yeah, it was terrible. Yes. Anyway. I did earthquake's birthday show and. They liked me, but they didn't love me. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It was like a little. <laughs> I bombed for eight and hit for one. Hell yeah. Or That's two. a good ratio. <laughs> yeah, it was 80% fail. I hit them at the end. The last. I told this story, but it was just dope because I, you know, when you just take the yeah, yeah. and then you finally get them. You're like, yeah. oh, oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> also doing that in front of Earthquake is. It gained respect. Yes. It did. Yes. Because they talked to me afterwards. And if I bombed the whole time, they wouldn't have looked at no. me. No. They, I swear on my life, they would have been nope. Yeah, <laughs> I would have. I wouldn't blame them. I go. I know. I'm gonna go home now. Yeah, <laughs> I ran out of Earthquake's birthday show. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. Too fast, too furious. Okay, so you sold out the main room. Yeah. What's going on? Like, what popped? Um. I'm so happy. I, I, you helped me. I think I swear it's ayahuasca. I puked no, out yeah, trauma. Yeah. I actually changed. Uh, yeah. some shitty behaviors i'm still working on myself we're all fucked up there's so much more but uh you know the bulk of the bullshit you let it go yeah um i yeah i, I think that's what it is i yeah. puked out trauma and i've always done the right thing but i feel like i started doing it more even yeah. when i don't want to i'm like fuck you you know yeah i always like justice and like i'm you know just you know <laughs> fucking get them <laughs> And uh, I think I, I still have that for sure. I battle Same, with it. Same, I have it so bad. But I let like, a lot of it go at this, you know, yeah. at, if that makes any sense. Might be time for me to do ayahuasca again. Go lace up with the Lord. Yeah, no, you just, uh, I know I've done it 18 times and that's some addict shit. <laughs> but, 18? <laughs> no, but I swear to God, like 10 to 12 of those is like when I got it all out. And then I just kept going because I wanted to be sure. And, uh. It doesn't just happen in one. That's what I'm getting at. I think anyone who's severely fucked up needs to go a lot, get it all out, and then maybe cool it. Because it's like the onions. You know, you, you peel it back, peel it back, peel it back, and you get to the source or the root, and you yank that bitch, bleh, and then uh, and then you sell out the main room. What's up? What's, <laughs> What's up, up, fool? What's, What's up? up? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, of course, I'm still, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, I'm yeah, praying yeah. for an asteroid. We're not all there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not all there. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard. And you're just like, come on. Does it get easier? And it's like, nah. No. Just more That's stuff. Right. You just, just deal with it better. It dipping into different lifetimes. Like, yeah. once you deal with all the ones from this lifetime, it's like, eh, three lifetimes yeah. ago, you were <laughs> yeah. raped in a town square. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're oh, like, God damn it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, yeah, God. that's also crazy with ayahuasca. You could visit like your grandma, the grandpa's trauma. It, yeah. It's yeah, only those who've drank would understand. I know I sound like a crackhead. Well, that being said, Lucy Goosey Gum is available that being said, soon. If you take a fistful of these, it might be just like doing ayahuasca. Yeah. Close. Not, yeah, but yeah, it's different. Because I've been to Cuckoo's Town on both. Yeah. Ayahuasca is different. Ayahuasca is more guided. Yeah. Mushrooms is like good luck. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know. in the forest be with you. Yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah, you. She got me into it. You helped me so much. The ripple much. effect no is idea. so funny. I mean, you helped me too. I mean, not in like um, 
you were the first person to ever like look me in the soul and tell me <laughs> yeah, I had a drinking yeah. problem. <laughs> Your booze bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and Neil Brennan. Yeah. Both of you just like in it stuck with me in a way. I was like, fuck you. Both like, of you. I recognize my people. <laughs> game, game recognize game. You were also like newly sober too, were you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> it just died. No, it was funny. It was fun for me. Only the, I swear to God, I would only do that to certain people that might be ready to listen. And it was I saw it was, you do it to people that weren't ready to listen. No, but not, I, I, you did. I guess I stopped that. I, that was a long time ago. I forgot how remember, much I remember. We can edit this out. It. Does he still drink? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he's finally sober. Oh, is he? We'll bleep his name. Yeah, we'll bleep that. He out. struggles. He's finally getting the fucking hint after he's losing everything. Yeah. I, well, I knew he wasn't ready, but it was just like I'm gonna try. Right, he's right, too right. talented. Right. I gotta try. He's so talented. He's so, this so. Ooh, that's anyways. the worst. No, but yeah, for sure in the beginning, because you know it's like you discover something. You're like, hey, 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 yeah. I was dying. Yeah, uh, yeah, hey, yeah. Do this. Yeah, you want to help people. Do this. You want to help people. You quickly learn. Some people aren't ready. They got to get there on their own. You know. Yeah. But it is nice when the seed is planted like that. Yeah. <laughs> it grows. It was said to me. I know. I'm and sure I it thoroughly was. enjoyed it because it's like the it's like ha, let me <laughs> fuck with this person. <laughs> you gotcha, got a bitch. problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got gotcha, you, bitch. I've always been that way. Like, a, like. A, a, that's fucker shit, but it's like a fun. Yeah. It's like a knucklehead. That's yeah. Like, it's my brand. What else happened? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about you, goddammit. You're special. Yeah. Your special debuts next week. I forgot August the date. 8th. I'm sorry. August 8th. Yeah. August 8th. Check out Britney On YouTube. Smith. Second um, special. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with that. No, it's good. <laughs> Go do ayahuasca. It'll be good. Yeah. No, I don't know. I. Uh, it's fine. It's, it feels a little bit like a sophomore slump. Like my other special just came out on Hulu. Yeah. And I rewatched that one. And I was like, that bitch was fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, no, it was great. This bitch is good. Yeah. I don't know what this other no, shit is. No, don't I say like, that. I it's had like better. a mental it's breakdown. It's better. I had a fucking mental breakdown. I got divorced. I was suicidal for like six months. And I'm like, let's get this on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't. Those are the best jokes. Yeah. That real shit. Yeah. So, no, it's fine. I mean, my, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was a breakup album. It was a great album. Yeah. It's okay. No, it's Everyone fine. goes through that. It's fine. I'm wearing a shirt that has a Glock on the back. Everyone, you know. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Suicide. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Go to the beach. Don't do it. Eat mush, eat loosey goosey. No, it's dope. Watch. I bet you 50 million bucks that shit will go viral and it'll blow you up to higher heights. You do not have $50 million yet. Okay, I bet you five bottles of gummies. <laughs> I got six. <laughs> One for me. <laughs> if I lose. <laughs> no, oh, stop it. God, stop it. Yeah, How no. often do we have insecurities about certain stories bits and things and that's the one that goes most viral. oh that is the one thing i know is i know nothing you know no. even with the first special when i put those out i'm like these jokes are my favorite like these are my little yeah. babies these are gonna pop off and then it was every other one popped off and yeah. i was like okay well i guess i don't know shit about shit it's ha why is it that way i don't know it always is i don't know i almost it's, didn't post loosey goosey that's Isn't that, that crazy? is the story with everyone's pop off story. Matt Rife almost didn't post the clip that yeah. put him on the map. Every single person is like, I almost didn't post it. And that's the thing that like I think we have to remember as artists is the art is not for us. Yeah. Like you make it and you put it out and the rest is not your business. But that's so hard because we're so attached to our little babies and our art and our ego gets so involved yeah. with it. But it's like it's not mine. Like when I watch this special and I hate every single minute of it. That's okay. It's not. It's not. It's not mine. It's not. Well, it's not for me to sit at home and be like, "Ha ha, she's so funny!" Like it's literally just for me to like put it out and forget about it. Was also we're too self-critical. Like we we gotta. Yeah. It's good to be to get good, but then at some point, like you gotta let you know. Don't be so hard on yourself. Listen to Louise Hay. Right. I love you. But She's that's so like, hard because it's like you do I as an artist want to hold yourself up to a standard. Yeah. And like and when you know what you're capable of, it's hard to put something out that feels like it's not at the bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I'm at, where I'm just like. You're telling me I didn't release shit until this. I'm taping my first shit ever. I just waited because I, I well, didn't. Well, we taped together technically. But oh, it was yeah, a yeah. Mess. No, I just didn't. I Yeah, I watched it again. I can't post it. 
because it, it I fucked it up. Anyways, new special coming soon. When are you taping your new one? December twenty first, twenty eighth. First, twenty first, December twenty so first in L A. Sacramento, the Crest Theater. Yeah, Hooray. yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah, that's dope. And then uh, about I damn time. I have Don't Tell too. Oh, you do? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little shorty from Don't Tell. We'll yeah. get them ready. Those are the best. I did that same. I did my Comedy Central short, my Don't Tell short, and then my special drop. Yeah. And it's great because it gets people excited about seeing the rest of it. So it's yeah, like yeah. the perfect order of events. I did it in different orders. Comedy Central, then Don't Tell, then my own. Yeah. But it's lovely. Oh. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I mean, when that comes out, it's like to the moon. See you later. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Everything seems to be going good. Your career is going well. You have a wonderful girlfriend. You have a cat that's eating itself right now. <laughs> He's got fleas. Yeah, obviously. He's got very bad Clearly. fleas. I need, I need to call the flea lady. <laughs> I, I am the flea lady. <laughs> that's me. Any flea lady sponsors out? Everything there. feels good. Are you waiting for the bottom to fall out? I'm so scared. Yeah, yeah, I'm so be. scared. Yeah, you should be. You should I am be so scared. Yeah, yeah, you should. I've be. never had life like this. Yeah. I'm scared. Who's gonna kill but me? But here's the thing: babies bring money, and that is just a fact. Every time I've had a friend have a baby, it's like you are motivated by something outside of yourself. Yeah. You're working for someone, something that's not internal. You know what I mean? It's like you're working. For your child yeah it's like oh i need life insurance yeah yeah yeah, now. yeah yeah i never thought that yeah it's crazy i was like where's the wave <laughs> <laughs> now i'm like oh fuck <laughs> let me set them up with some yeah. gold and guns no in colorado i i want i want a little mountain cabin little, little airstream little you know like retreat airbnb yeah. homestead grow food it's dope yeah, but it's so funny because I say this all the time too. I'm like, I just want to go to the woods and hug a tree. But it's like the lives that we're creating for ourselves is not that. No. <laughs> so. But that's like later. Yeah. There's different stages of this shit. Um, also, that's also, it can be investment and you just rent it out and visit it. Yeah. That's, that's how I true. look at it. Like I, basically every place I want a vacation home, I want to rent it out 80% of the year and visit it 10, 20%. Mm hmm. And level the fuck up. And then always have income. But I oh, asked. Oh, you know, 41? 40. 40. Yeah. Hitting at 40, yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah, 40. My son was born, and that's actually, you're right. At the moment, he was born is the first weekend I ever sold out. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. It was I'm Skyline. You yeah. did the first one that made yes. me want to quit comedy. Yes. <laughs> that oh, was awful. I didn't know you wanted to quit. No, because, yeah, well, you don't remember? There was like 30 people at every show, and we all bombed. <laughs> Speak Host, for yourself. Teacher, all, <laughs> top to bottom. I'm just kidding. But I you think, know what was so beautiful about that is I had no expectations of myself at that time, so I didn't care if yeah. I bombed. I just, yeah. like, I just need to go up there and say my jokes. No, it, I don't think it was us. It was just the lack of humans in yeah. the seats, and everybody felt it. They're like, oh, shit. But that was 2018. Yeah, was it? I don't even remember. Well, or no, no, sorry, 2020. 20, 2021, maybe. Yeah. 2021, because 2020 was the pandemic. So 2021 was when everyone was doing shows again. And 2020. And that's, yes, because I was getting ready to shoot my first special, yes. which I shot in 2021. Yes. And that's why I went on the road with you. Yeah. We had the same manager at the time. Yeah. Same team. Yeah. And you, yeah. And you wanted to quit. And now, and then you sold, and then out. I sold it out. Hell yeah. Three years later. So maybe I'll go back there and go I back. did the first year this last year. So give me two years. I'll sell it up. Yeah, if will. I don't, I will be hanging from no, that stage. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe just do a one night. <laughs> that will be my final form. <laughs> it's just... No, don't die there. I know that would be too dark. <laughs> die over here. <laughs> it's warm. It's so cold. Yeah, that's right. You're from Wisconsin. Yeah. 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 I know. I had more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, yeah. Craig has notes. Oh, I just went to Catalina. I looked and I didn't even look. Have you been to Catalina? You seem like you would like Catalina. It's just... No, I haven't. Oh, it's so cute. It's like, well, you go to, I was just about to say, you're not going to like it. <laughs> I go to like Paris. <laughs> I was like, it's like, it's like the Mediterranean, but an hour away, but it's also not. Yeah. But it's a different world. It's like a staycation, but you don't have to get on a plane for however long. No, I know. That is. I know where it is geographically. How long is that? Huh? Paris. Uh, ten hours. Ten hours. Okay. 
You just stop in New York. You just do no. it. No. Just go straight there. You barrel all the way through, baby. Damn. Barrel through in business. Yeah. Pop a sleeping pill and just wake up in Paris. Nice. Yeah. I do want to live there. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Every time I go, I've been there 10 times. Every time I go, I'm like, I feel like I'm home in a way that I felt like when I used to live in Wisconsin and it would come to LA, I was like, I need to live here. Like yeah. I had that, like weirdly cities have always guided me, not like my career. Like I never, like I didn't come to LA trying to make it in comedy. Like I just came to LA cause I wanted to be in LA. Yeah. Everything else kind of happened for me. I'm like, and now I feel that way about Paris. So I'm like, mm, listen, if this special does flop, it will I not. I just moved to it will Paris. Not. I got five bottles on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will not fly. It was fifty million, so we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think, same deal. I think the adjustment really made me know where you stand for real. <laughs> <laughs> I spend money. I make it. I spend it. Oh my god. No, Paris is dope. I only been once. I need to go back. Yeah. I was like twenty. I, you know, yeah. I didn't even get to enjoy it. Yeah, you didn't have money. Nope. You don't enjoy anything when we you don't have money. Baguettes. Back to point A. <laughs> baguettes and fucking sweets. That's all we ate. Crepes and croissants. Those good. Though. It's so good. So good. Croissants. 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 Is that how they say yeah. over there? Croissants. Croissants. <laughs> yeah, croissants. Yeah, I can't wait to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. They didn't help me at all, though. I got lost. And yeah, they, no, they hate. They fucking hated me. I can <laughs> fucking America. tell, too. I was like, please. That's why please. I like them. That's why I like them, because they fucking hate you. And yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm moving here. I get that. <laughs> I hate me, too. <laughs> America kind of sucks right now. You're just, just too much going on. I stay out of that. I stay by the beach. Yeah, America, I don't think it ever really sucks. No. I think if you like go on your phone and you and like feed into everything, you can get to a place where you think it sucks. But if you just walk outside and observe the world, it's pretty good. That's a hundred percent true. I believe yeah. I I take that back. It sucks on TV and social media. Mm -hmm. And then you walk outside, you're like, hey, this is this is all right. Yeah. Well, in this neighborhood, I don't know about it. It's like a skid row down there. No, I know. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, I, it's, I worse. Mean, yeah, it's worse. It's worse. It's way worse. <laughs> At some point, we are just going to need to like bomb our own city. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> get rid of the Where's Batman? I don't think there's a solution anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, no. It is so past. I think we are going to need to. Yeah, come on. You know. <laughs> That's probably going to be really popular. A really popular opinion. Some guy could run off that. When I um I'll kill him. I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll do it. He wins. You've got guns. <laughs> Even nanas are like, go, go, come on. Good. They okay. fucked up my begonias. <laughs> come on. I have orchids here. That guy's ass is shit. So, How old is this cat? I don't know. I got him off the street. Oh, okay. He must be about eight to ten. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's a good one. Mr. Cat, my A1 from day one. He knocked on my door. Mr. Oh, he's the one that you had in the WeHo apartment. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And then we acquired three more. <laughs> Just we acquired. keep taking them. Taking them in. You got Biggie? Yeah. Yeah, Biggie's dope. Biggie Small's the illest. I yeah. share him with Chris still. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, though. That means he gets to travel and shit. Yeah. That's better. More better. More better. Yeah, I, I do. it does help having a nice place now, but I'm like, sister, stay stay here by the ocean. I watch my cats, but she doesn't like cats. You know? <laughs> or the ocean. Or <laughs> you. Or, or, or me. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a tough or doing you favors. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck. Get home. Okay. What else? Hang on. I'm struggling here, friend. What are we talking about? Oh my God, how do I forget this shit? What? It was my sister's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she doesn't want to watch your fucking cats, Craig. <laughs> She's like, uh, I'm on my honeymoon. Yeah. I can't watch your cats. No, I know. Well, th well, this was this sounds fucked up, but it was the courthouse wedding because they're they're doing the big big yeah, yeah. hoopla in uh, hoopla wedding ceremony in Mexico. Yeah. So that, but then they chose Beverly Hills. That shit is gorgeous courthouse. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my. it's Beverly Hills. Hey, Beverly Hills, everything's nice over there. Yeah, that's why I moved to Beverly Hills. It's fucking soda. Oh, yeah. you're not in the Hollywood Hills? Or I, I have been in Beverly Hills for almost two years. Okay, then that's the place. I was in the Hollywood Hills when I like, that was like my oh, divorce okay. pad, like when I was going through it. But I moved to Beverly Hills because oh, I wanted somewhere just safe. And they have like their own police, so there are no homeless. There's just nothing going on there. It's great. Is there any culture? 
No. None. <laughs> no. It's all Persian Jews. But yeah. I feel right at home. <laughs> Actually, that's culture. Yeah, that is culture. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> that is culture. But it just still doesn't feel like it. It's like, what is this place? But it's nice. It's clean. They got a Nespresso store. That's, oh, yeah. And Rodeo. Yeah. I love Nespresso. I, I got know. an espresso machine. I want an espresso machine. I was looking at the Smeg ones because I'm thinking of moving. I'm going to ask her on a house right now. I shouldn't. Oh, be. nice. <laughs> Nice. Get an espresso sponsor. You just click. Oh, yeah. I was like, there we go. oh, sorry. I punched them. Ah. Get an espresso. Oh, yeah, I should. God. Because they're fucking espressos is expensive. Yeah. Comp- I, don't, but the, I don't want the cheap shit no more. It doesn't matter. That's a bad word. It's cheap. I What's just pointed that. I love that shit. I need a thicker chain, though. It doesn't match. I got into jewelry. You wore the homies Brittany for lunch jewelry. Mm-hmm. That was the funniest storm of events that, I, that that your show got canceled and then the homies watched me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told that story. I think that's the funniest shit on earth. It was like so embarrassing. Brittany brings fucking Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee and, and John, John Travolta. Travolta. <laughs> and John Travolta's whole family. Like his yeah. sister, his daughter, like everyone that he could have brought. And then yeah. the premise of the show we were supposed to go to is like, Secrets. You write secrets down. <laughs> and then I'm like, imagine if the audience is just Tommy Lee, John Travolta, and his family. And it's their secrets. It's like their deepest, they darkest got, They got some good ones, I bet. Yeah. That's some Hollywood like, shit. Like, that would have been the best, yeah. Damn, that's funny. Yeah, and it was literally only them was the audience members. Yeah. And so they canceled the show. And Steve didn't... ran out without even telling us it was canceled. Just... I would too. I couldn't face that. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm so embarrassed. I have to like leave. I was like, okay. You should punch yourself, Steve. That's a bad one. It's a bummer because he said it usually sells out. It, I yeah. did it. I That's the one time, you know, when they say that and you're like, lies. I did it the week before, the month before, whatever, and it was sold out. And it was no, so I saw, fun. I saw that. It was it's so been... fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. He literally sold out, I think, eight in a row. And then legends come and canceled. But then they saw me, and that's why it's so funny to me. You and Eddie Pepitone. Oh, Eddie's the fucking man. Eddie is one of, he is the most special person alive. Yeah. I love him so much. He's so funny. Yeah. He's so just, I don't know. He's just so cutthroat. Yeah, he's the shit, dude. He got me at the meeting, remember that? You made me read. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'd get nervous. It was like casting. I was like, oh, gong, 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 gong. <laughs> and I made you read how it works, which is two pages. It's so long. And I'm like, try not to fuck up reading even more slow. And he's going so slow. I can read too, by the way, but not like not on the spot. I go, not oh, well. the child comes out of me. Go, and no. At the end, after Craig barely got through it, Eddie was like, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> to grab that back. I gotta get Eddie on, but I'm too far for him. When you know when you just embarrass, you're like, you're not gonna come down yeah, here. Yeah. I have to send you an But he might. He might. What is he doing? Yeah, right. I'll tell him to come. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he looks like a cat lady. Yeah. I got cats. Come on, Eddie. Yeah. Come on. Do my show. I'll Did you see him. when he was recording his podcast and a tree fell on him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 a giant tree <laughs> like I didn't, uprooted <laughs> i didn't know he could move that fast like, well thank <laughs> god for the root system because yeah. it was a slow fall but if not yeah. dude like a huge, huge like 100 year old tree like giant, can't even reach your arms around it <laughs> roots the, bigger than my thigh just slowly <laughs> Start falling. and he went on camera he made the news damn that was funny yeah and he's not a quick guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not an agile cat. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so... You can't even make that up. There's a lot of trees in that park. He chose that one. That guy's cursed. <laughs> he comes on my show, that palm tree falls in here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my shit. God. Uh, yeah, how... how, how ah, this is me trying to interview. What else? Hang on. Help me, Brittany. Okay. Um, let me see. I was hooking up with a guy the other day and... Sex stories. They'll sell. Yeah. And um, <laughs> he before we had sex, he went to put the condom on and then he came in the condom. What? <laughs> oh, my God. What is he in high school? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What do you mean in these guys? Fucking church? He's <laughs> celibate? No, I met him on an app and he like had this whole thing. So the first time we hooked up, he told me that he's a pleasure dom, which means like, he's like, I don't. Is that the guy that teases you? 
I watch your clips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, um, I derive pleasure from making you come, but I don't have to come. It sounds which, pretty gay. Yeah. It sounds pretty gay to me, <laughs> bro. Just like the most elaborate way anyone's ever told me they have an erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Was, oh, yeah, I never thought of that. I sounds like, okay. like you got a lip dick. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, the one time we go to hook up, his, he was, his dick wasn't getting hard. And then he went into the bathroom for too long. So I was like, he's either taking a shit or beating off. Yeah. And he came out and he's like, get on top of me right now. And I was like, okay. And I got on top of him and he put the condom on and he came. I was like, did you just jerk off in the bathroom and then come into the car? Damn, erectile dysfunction is a thing. That sucks. <laughs> How old is he? My age, thirty-five. That's too young, bro. They're... It's not. It's not a young thing. It's a mental health thing. I really think, like, it if is. you don't take care of your mental, it's a mind-body connection, you know. So if your mental's not on track, your I body's feel like it's not on track. New school, though. These new, new. Yeah, it's yeah. gay for sure. <laughs> yeah, under forty, because all the a bunch of homies they are taking the blue chews, and I tried a quarter one, and I thought I was gonna die. Why? Because I was at a boner for four hours. <laughs> did it was you, terrible. Did you not have like anything lined up? My girl. Oh. Yeah, it was recent. We were on vacation. I was okay. like, oh, I'm gonna try this. It right. was awful. <laughs> so you just had a boner. You guys had sex, and then you still had a boner. No, I yeah, we, just too long, just too long. Too long. Just, okay, so you had sex and it just didn't, you didn't. No. Blow, yeah. And what yeah. I did, what it took, like way too, long. way too long. Yeah, way too long. That's the worst. That's when I knew I knew there was this one guy I was seeing who was like he was fine in bed, like it would be like five to seven minutes, which is great for me. Like we have all we all have shit to do, you yeah. know. And then he started taking Cialis, and it would be like forty five minutes to an hour, and I'm like I. Do not have the stamina, yeah. the time, like like this is yeah. a full workout. Yeah, I was in great shape, but I couldn't. Yeah, that shit works. By the way, yeah, I could quarter one because I knew you know when you know you don't need it, and I was like, I don't. But I was like, fuck it, you know. I'm yeah, vacation. Addict. It's vacation. Yeah, we're on vacation. We got big old tub. Let's get it freaky. And and then it was it was it was she's like, what are you what are you doing? Yeah, where'd you guys <laughs> go on vacation? That was the road, but we just got like a suite and shit. Spokane, Washington, like oh, okay. a luxury. Yeah, yeah. We got the nice. honeymoon suite because it was Spokane. And yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't yeah, nice. Yeah, because nobody honeymoons there. <laughs> yeah. Nobody I was like, that's it. Spokane. I'll take that one. It was great. Yeah. It was at a nice hotel. It was like marble, fucking everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tub, like big giant one okay. with jets. That shit Welcome was to the good life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck it. And, and then I was like, nah. Yeah. I'm lucky. Well, good now genes. you know. Good genes. I mean, it's great that you don't need it because most a lot of guys do. I've been literally since I've been divorced, nothing but small dicks and erectile dysfunctions, and sometimes both. Well, you got to work on yourself within. Then, <laughs> <laughs> why are you attracting limp me. dicks and little dicks? <laughs> it's not me. That's a recurring theme. <laughs> you. It's not me. I think someone cursed me. I think my ex husband. <laughs> I think my ex husband probably went to a sweat lodge and did a fucking curse he on did me. Some voodoo shit. He's like this bitch thinks she, she's. It's gonna get laid out in the streets. Yeah. Uh oh. Damn, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. You said the funniest thing ever to me one time. I showed you a girl, and and, and she, remember? No. It was it was a voluptuous woman. Okay. And you said, "Damn, you got enough dick for that girl." <laughs> <laughs> That was the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever. I laughed so hard. Do you? Yeah. She called me back. Anyways, don't don't know. clip that up, man. Piss off, my lady. Oh yeah, is she fired up. She what? get fired up. Yeah, like yeah. I told him because he's posting some clips, of some old <laughs> shit, and then she's like, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "That's from like a year ago." That's like, how hey. you know she loves you. Yeah, I was like, hey man, lay off the old that the fucking old, old fucking clips and shit. Bro, yeah. This is just saying awful Dude, shit. Dude, I used to be so crazy when I first started dating Chris. Like in the beginning, you know, yeah. when you're like Yeah. When you get into it, you'll get comfier and you'll care a little less and all that kind of goes away. But in the beginning, Chris would like take me somewhere and I'm like, I know you went here with Abby in two thousand eight. <laughs> like I would like I'm like, don't take me to a place that you took your ex to. Yeah, she's like, does. how do you know? And I'm she like, does that. Yeah and, yeah, and he's, I'm like, I went on her Facebook. Yeah. He's like, get a life. Like, what like, are who, you doing? He's like, you're ruining our time together. It's good food. I know. It's good spaghetti. <laughs> he's like, you're ruining our day together because you're being fucking crazy. And I'm like, well, when I stop caring, you'll know I'm out. <laughs> yeah. When I stop knowing where you went with your ex, then you know I'm done. I'm one for Yeah, it's, 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 wow. 
how what how, I, how do you navigate it's a form how do you of, navigate it's a that? form of very toxic love I hopefully would. now that i've done work on myself i wouldn't be that way but who knows yeah i'm so toxic like are not, you no but yeah yeah how, how are you toxic just uh just fucking mental i guess just like like possessive controlling uh insecure what's like your probably a little bit of all of it yeah and it's probably mirrored right back at me and it's this ever yeah, flow yeah, yeah. of okay i'm chill she's not okay she's chill i'm not mm-hmm. but then it, we love each other so much and that's usually like why because mm-hmm. i never was that quite that way right until her it's probably like your soul's opportunity to evolve yeah that because then you get to see in another person how you're behaving and you can be like this doesn't feel great no you know it's one when it's mirrored back to you you're like oh this doesn't feel good and i'm like god damn it i do that too Mm -hmm. it's basically exactly what i think that's what when significant partners are put into our life i think that's what it's for is to mirror back to you how you are and then decide if that is healthy or not and like try and evolve and change and grow yeah you know because i think chris was like my exact mirror too for so long you know what i mean yeah mm-hmm. no i i believe that i believe that a hundred percent yeah because that shit's crazy yeah right. I, I literally drive reflecting like why and i'm like oh you do that shit yeah you need to change that and if yeah. you let that go i bet you that shit will stop over there Mm-hmm. i bet you five bottles <laughs> God, that sucks. There's so many fucking not never ending lessons. It's so I was just never talking to my sister on the way down lessons. here and I'm like, I'm so sick of lessons. I'm so sick of evolving. <laughs> I'm so sick of learning. I'm so sick of trying to like present myself as like this healed person who's done the work. Like, when do I get to go fucking buck nasty and just crash my car into someone's house? <laughs> like, that's what I wanna do. I'm so sick of acting healed. And I haven't been acting healed lately. I've been nuts Mm. it's been like a whole year of me just being a fucking menace and not caring i'm like everybody can suck my fucking dick i'm done trying to be nice yeah it was like four years of me trying to be nice and now i'm just fed up that's why i love you you fucking don't yeah (laughs) my sentiment is like i just want to drive on the sidewalk (laughs) yeah it's like (sighs) the bill burr thing it's like you're just driving along and you just want to yeah yeah. And I don't want to do it to innocent people. If I could get everyone I hated on a sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I could get every person that pisses me off on a sidewalk, the way I would run them over so fast. The backstabbers and vultures. It's like, and that's the other thing is sometimes you don't even know who the bad guys are because they present like they're good guys. Yeah. And then you find out they're bad guys and you're like, nothing is sacred. I still hate old homie that did you dirty. I, I hate that guy. I, I hate fucking hate that guy. Him. And you there's see him so in the comedy. There, there's so many bitches, There's dude. so many snakes in Comedy. Oh my god! There's you so guys many are fucking little snakes. bitches. I never name you because I don't want to. It's not. My and yeah, brand. don't give them any fucking heat. But it's like there's so many snakes because there's this thing in comedy where everyone wants to be at the top, and then once you get there, nobody thinks you deserve to be there. Yep. So like, even if they were your homie the whole time, you fucking have a come up. Nobody's happy for you. Even if they pretend they're happy to your face, they're not. You can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it. You I love the it. real ones because. You can always tell, like when they see, like if I see you at the store, I go like, yeah. this. and then and then there's the other one. They go, uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. they're like, hey, that wasn't it. that wasn't your first instinct. Yeah. Bro. you look at me like, man, fuck this. Oh shit, you got a little clout now. Yeah, I better yeah, say yeah. hi to him. Yeah, well, I want him to do this thing. podcast. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Fucking I fucking bitch ass just like I, I've just leaned into being a villain a little bit because I'm like, you guys don't like me anyway, so I'm not gonna pretend we're friends. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. walking into a green room needing to be friends with everyone. It's like high school. It's like everyone's, it's like a fucking popularity contest and I'm not fucking interested. Like take my name off the ballot. I don't even want to be considered. I don't want to be friends with people who don't really like themselves. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I joke about like hating myself, but like I have done a lot of work on myself and I do like myself, which is also equally insufferable. But like, I'm like, I don't want to like be fake nice to people just to like get ahead or to feel like i'm a part yeah. of like i'm good yeah i'm good Mm-mm. i don't need it go to where you're celebrated not tolerated yeah i got that off a of hip-hop podcast you're welcome there you go it's true bow, bow, bow. gems yeah no i 100 percent agree oh, especially with girls though yeah the girl world's crazier y'all are crazy guys is fucking on your face you no guys guy, i mean like there's a reason talky talky why so many male comedians are so successful is because it's all they all lift each other up 
girls, there's like a limited number of spots. That's the perception is that there's a limited number there's of not. spots. And, no, there's I know that. I yeah. know that. It's a perception problem. It's a lack mentality yeah. problem. But that is literally how it's perceived. And I'll talk to some of like the people that I thought were like the goats, like the women that I like looked up to. And they'll say it like there's not room for all of us. Like have, they have said that to my face. There is not room for all like, of us. Yeah, there is. And I'm like, no, there really yeah, is. There you is. just need to like, you know, do some work on yourself. But um it's that like doggy dogness of it. That's scarcity, not abundance. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, you know, girls just like too being a pretty girl. It's like, I've never enjoyed being pretty. It's never been fun. Like never at any point in my life have I been like, this is fucking lit. Like this I is mean, so free, free fun. I mean, free stuff's pretty fun. What? Free stuff's pretty fun. I don't, it doesn't come with as much free stuff as you would think. <laughs> like, the free stuff kind of ends after your 20s, you know? <laughs> because That's... the guys aren't really giving you free stuff. It's just like the girls are just mean to you for your, yeah. t- the entire time you're hot. You have the, the exact amount of energy that is spent like admiring you or thinking you're hot or whatever there's more energy of women that hate you for being hot yeah that's... so it's literally no fun it's like i you know when i did comedy i used to dress in like chris's clothes because i was like hiding and then i remember someone was like you have like a couple of years left to be hot why don't you just do that on stage and i'm like you're, yeah i can't like that'll be so sc-. and then i did and i like leaned into it now i'm kind of like fuck everyone but it's like yeah it's not fun <laughs> yeah i never thought of that i've never been a pretty woman <laughs> No, but yeah, but you no. see how pretty women are treated. Yeah, it's not great. It's crazy. Yeah. It's either the best or the worst. Yeah, well, it's usually the worst. <laughs> I haven't had any. No, it sucks. I do, you do see it, the constant getting hit on, and usually, I mean, sometimes that is goes well. But like, I you just witness it. You're like, oh, look at this idiot. Oh, this aggressive guy, or just this guy that doesn't have a fucking clue. Mm-hmm. And you just always have to deal with that from the, well, the booker, good news or manager, for me is club I'm like, owner. I'm aging out of that. Yeah. Guys really like 20 something year old girls. And I love that for them. Like, just go, just go for that. Like I talked to, I was about to say, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, but then my girl's 29. Yeah. Almost 30. I thought she was 30. But like I, my single male (laughs) friends that are like in their forties, their parameters on their dating apps are set to cap out at 28. Oh really? Yeah. (laughs) I, Dude, my shit was fucking old. Oh, of course. <laughs> the equal opportunity employer, Craig Conan. <laughs> I always went that way. It's a better way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, <laughs> up, yeah. Go up. Yo, Here's the freaks. Thing. You know, I want to hate on guys for liking young girls, but when I was young, I was just a rudderless ship with no morals, and I would happily be with a guy who didn't have their shit together and yeah. like you know what i mean it's like yeah when you're younger you don't know what to expect and then the older you get and the more you get on your own it's like the i'm like my expectations are so much higher i won't even waste my time yeah. with the bartender who came in his condom you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> like i gave that guy three dates and then i was like all right you oh, gotta no. get the fuck out of my house to go yeah that's so fun yeah you just eliminate the bullshit women have to men kind of don't but you should yeah no because i think we date for different reasons yeah you know like what can a man really offer me right now that i don't already have besides dick and that those aren't working (laughs) (laughs) or too small too small um yeah just companionship She said nothing. But <laughs> companion, com- a, friend, Literally, a friend. I have friends. I yeah. have companions. No, but it's different. You know. I, I know. I've been married. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. But that's hard to find. It's hard. That's why so many of us are in and out of them. Or, you yeah. know. It's hard. It's hard to find a kindred spirit that you're, like, just... You know, where I'm nuts, you're nuts. He, you know, like just enough nutsness because you can't have no, no plain Jane. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's such a fine line of two nuts. And then, you know what I'm trying to say? There's yeah. this layer. Well, it's like there's a layer of crazy you can deal with. But I think the ultimate reason you get into a relationship with somebody is to like grow and evolve with them. Yeah. They Who's nuts only... to go on this journey with right, me? I guess right, is what I was trying right. to say. And do you? Because this go... is a wild fucking journey. It is. It is. And I will say, I wish I had a little more insight into how um, isolating it was when I was alone. Because I didn't know comedy alone. I just knew it married. And one of the reasons I left was to pursue my career and make sure I could pursue it to the fullest. And I'm like, I don't know that this career without partnership is even doable. 
It's rough. It's really, it's really, fucking really rough. fucking hard. It's I was rough. like, I'm out here and I'm like, what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> like, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Come back. Can I come home? Baby, come back. <laughs> Can I yeah. come home? I was it gets like, lonely I out there. Fucked up. Yeah. No, I didn't. I think ultimately we weren't, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Doesn't matter. You never know. But yeah, that's how it goes. It's hard. You know, you grow out of shit. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, just I I say that I, with like love. Like sometimes shit just runs its course, but not not in a you know mean hateful way. You're just like we got each other here, mm-hmm. we capped out, mm-hmm. and now it's time for both of us to go. Otherwise, we stay holding each other here. Right, totally. That's I've felt that's that. totally it. I've when felt you that a couple are times. just like in this level of comfortability with someone, where it's like if we both stay, neither of us will grow. Yes, and, and most people don't acknowledge that shit and that's the most devastating way to end something because nothing's really wrong yeah do you know what i mean it's not like you can point to this person and be like they're an asshole this happened like it's just like we're gonna be stuck here forever if we don't yep break loose yeah and we're firecrackers so we break loose we break loose (laughs) (laughs) okay all right let's bring it on home let's see what do we got on the notes here it's Let me see. Uh, you, well, you gave me a good poop story last time. I don't know. Oh my god! You speaking to Aaron on the internet, and you don't. You know what I mean? I just shit in yoga the other day. <laughs> nice, <laughs> fucking real one. I love you, Brittany Schmidt. You goddamn woman right there. I shit on my yoga instructor in the pants. It just just. It hasn't. was like you know, it's the classic. We thought it was a fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I do hot yoga. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. Oh no! I do hot. This is why. <laughs> this is why it was shit, not a fart. So I did hot yoga. It was really early, and when I wake up, I drink thirty ounces of water to like flush myself out. But I didn't have a bowel movement oh, before yoga. Oh. So when I got into the room, it was a hundred eleven before we started moving. One one one. Which is too high. It's supposed to be like one oh three when you start. So it probably went up to about like. 118 oh, shit. and i felt my insides liquefy yeah, yeah, yeah. but i was yeah. like there's no way he yeah. makes you shit your pants yeah. you know so, chocolate melts so, <laughs> so i went down into child's pose and i was like i think i just have to like squeak a little fart out i obviously shit my pants yeah. it wasn't like it wasn't like ruinous everywhere shit, but it was like enough it's to enough. really start my morning off on a humble foot. Yeah, you it's know? enough to be like, oh, it, it humbles man. you. You know, we I'm gotta, like, oh, I have to we, shower. We got to go splash in the sink real yeah. quick. Yeah, no, That's I left. Enough. I left class. Yeah. I showered. And then, you know, it's like taking the shitty pants home is it's tough. the worst. Yeah, <laughs> it's the worst. It's not like the world. It's not the life I thought I'd be living. No, you know, it's not as glamorous as I hope. You're 35 now. And yeah. that happens. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like i wonder why i'm alone in life <laughs> no no that real it's man is fucking... that's like they like a woman that can tell that, that shit's story. Real <laughs> real man. Man. <laughs> you, you gotta get away from those softies yeah literally <laughs> literal soft. lead off of that story and see who sticks around that's the guy yeah yeah, yeah. no first date i'll be like so i shit my pants i shit in yoga today <laughs> yeah. okay maybe second date yeah <laughs> only a real psycho be like wow what? <laughs> <Like> a woman <laughs> That's my lady. Ooh, oh, shit. she's He's a lady. lady. <laughs> Tom Jones. Is he still alive? Oh, my God. That is a great poo poo story. Yeah. Oh, man. I love you. I really mean that. You're A1 you. from day one, man. Love You're a goddamn thing. savage. She's funny as fuck. You do all this shit. I forgot to highlight you more. She writes books, podcasts, <laughs> writes TV shows, movies, scripts, all yeah. that shit. She's yeah. a goddamn writer. And, uh, Specials coming out August eighth. I remembered. What's the name of this bad boy? It's called Horny. Horny. She's but, a horny. She shits her pants. There you go. Well, fellas. it's called Horny for the sweet release of death. But <laughs> oh, wait, 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 that sounds what, what? What? That's a title. If you just do <laughs> Horny just for Google, the sweet relief of death. Release. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just Google Horny, it'll come up. Okay. okay. Horny on YouTube, not yeah. you porn. Not you porn. <laughs> but honestly, you'll get different results. Yeah. It'll still be me. <laughs> <laughs> the 
<laughs> no, just joke. different products just, that I put out. Just pussy farts and dildo. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, uh, the link in bio. Her special comes out next week. This drops tomorrow. So keep a lookout for it. Set your reminders. Thank you for watching Community Service Podcast. And I love you all. Tune in. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Hello, hello, hello.